is sex good or bad? And what does this even mean? Because on the surface, the answer is surely yes. Surely sex is a great thing. But what about over time when we're experiencing erection challenges or performance anxiety? Is sex so good or is it not so good? Here's how you can tell. When it comes to sex, is it about this enjoyment of connection, passion, of intimacy, understanding each other? Or does it actually feel like it's a rush? It feels more like a sports competition or a test. I've just got to get this over and done with. You see these differences here? about how we feel about sex, whether it feels like a good thing or a negative thing. Here's some other examples. When it comes to sex, is it about pleasure both ways? Is it about your partner's pleasure, but also your pleasure? Is it about exploring each other's bodies? Is it about trying new things? Touch, sense, sound, taste, feeling? Or actually, does it feel awkward? Does it feel a bit embarrassing? Are the lights always off so you don't have to look at each other in the eye if something doesn't go to plan? Is there a sense of feeling repelled, like magnets that are the opposite way around, pushing away from each other? But like, I've just got to do this. I've got to do this once a week. I've got to do this because then it means that I'm a man. These types of questions. You can see here, this is a very different kind of feeling about sex and whether it's good or whether it's bad. I'd love to hear in the comments below what you feel like you can relate to. In the past, has sex been a good thing or a bad thing? Now, I would be crazy to ignore the obvious pattern that from speaking to hundreds of guys around the world with performance anxiety and erection challenges, that often we forget the pleasure of sex and it's understandable because it's not enjoyable when we're not able to get hard or we're not able to maintain an erection, sex becomes stressful rather than pleasurable. But it is possible to get that sorted. And you don't need to just take my advice for it. In the comments below, I've put the link to my website where you can read more about stories from other men who have shared where they are at and the journey that they went through, the ex things that they experienced whilst they were going through this challenge and that. The, the tools and strategies that helped them to get this sorted so that they were able to start having incredible intimacy with their partner, so that they had the confidence to go out and meet new people, trust in their body. So if you'd like to read some more of those stories in the comments below, you'll see the link to my site. Uh, when you click on that link, it will take you straight to the page that has the stories listed there. Whether sex is a good thing or a bad thing for you right now, I want to say that it's totally possible to feel normal again and to feel the type of pleasure, connection and real intimacy that comes with sex.